hey everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe today's video is gonna be a little bit different I'm gonna be vlogging in this video so as you can see I'm just completing a COVID-19 screening because I'm going to be leaving the house for school today so I decided to go on campus to do a little bit of studying maybe that will help me to be more productive because I haven't been as productive as I hoped I will be in this past week so I check my emails check my e-class site to know if there is any important announcement or any email I have to reply to from school as soon as possible so I just go ahead to do that and then finish off my tea and start my workout so yeah basically for my workout session I don't do anything specific I have no target or any workout plan I just do a little bit of here and there just to you know keep fit and feel healthy and at it and I try to do a little bit of cardio even though I don't like doing cardio because it makes me tired I just try to get a little bit of you know two to five minutes of cardio and yeah I'm just gonna finish up my workout and you know prep my food for the day So yeah, I'm done with my workout for the day and I'm just going to pack my meal for school and take a little bit of snacks with me and I'll show you what I'll be taking to school in a minute. So yeah, I have um, boiled egg, avocado, rice and stew with watermelon, plantain chips, bread and a granola bar for school. So I'm just going to go ahead to pack all of these in my bag including my laptop, my charger and everything I need while in school. I'm not going to be there for very long, I'm just going to stay up until maybe 4.30 so between the hours of 9 o'clock in the morning and 4.30 in the evening. So I've just finished taking a shower. I'm just going to tie my hair to the bag because I'm all ready and set for school. I love wearing joggers to school because I find it really comfortable. I don't like to be restricted by clothing when I'm trying to study. So I just throw on a comfortable shirt, my joggers, my sweater, and I'm going to get my shoes and wait for my friend who will be here in a bit to pick me up because we both decided to go to school because sometimes you just need to change your environment as you get so tired in one spot. And feeling unmotivated so yeah we decided to you know change our environment and we'll be out shortly so this is the quadrangle of my school as you can see there's so many buildings around here So this is the science library, it's called Cameron Library and this is where we are coming to study but unfortunately this didn't work so we had to go find another lab, a computer lab because at the library you're not allowed to work with someone in the same space, not even in the same room. 
even if you're from the same household you have to space out so normally they recommend to use any of the computer labs because they understand that some students might want to work together or might have a group work that they need to you know be together so they recommended we go to one of the labs in one of the buildings and that's where we decided to come to and that's where we we'll spend our time studying for the rest of the day as for my friend Siba, she needs no introduction. I'll bring her in future videos, so you'll be seeing her around. So just stay tuned. And here's my study space. So this is where I'm going to be studying for the rest of the morning. And I'm going to be showing you what I'll be working on. And I'll also walk you through that as well. So here, Siva and I are just discussing our assignment because we have something due today for clinical that we always have to, you know, fill up and hand in every Monday and that's what we're discussing. We're also discussing some paper, peer review, um, literature review process that we normally do in our everyday life anyways. And so yeah, I mean, it's really good to have people go through your work, especially your peers who are in the same, you know, who are in the same class or in the same you know form as you because they catch your mistakes they catch your errors they they understand what you're trying to say they understand what you're writing because you all are going through that same experience so it's always good like it's always nice to have them you know have a second eye look at your work and it doesn't really necessarily have to be people in the same set as you no it could be anyone it could be your mentor in a higher set or like it could be anyone at all as long as they are willing to dedicate that time and effort into giving you quality feedback because that is the purpose of going through each other's work because you want to be able to offer feedback and you who is a learner you also need to make sure that you're humble when people give you feedback and you're taking it like you know take positive criticism and that's a very good thing like there's nothing wrong with that no one's able to mistakes and that's something that people need to realize so yeah we are basically talking about our work and you know working on it together even though like it's different but same thing same idea So here is Siba and I still um, explaining the process of a literature review and sometimes, I don't know, I find the literature review to be so intense, especially with my proposal when I was doing it with my partner, I found out that we kept having to go back to articles and articles and articles and articles and just knowing what the literature is talking about and finding gaps or tangible um, you know tangible words or phrases that will support our argument or support our paper and stuff like that i mean if you also find this to be hectic to review process please comment in the comment section of this video i don't know if it's because it was our first time but i mean first time things are usually challenging and i feel like that was also part of it as well so yeah siba and i were just discussing the literature review process which can be intense sometimes which is going towards her project and also, <laughs> just watching this video is kind of funny to me because sometimes I feel like I go overboard with my explanations or sometimes I find myself going tangential before coming back to the original topic. <laughs> but, I mean, it's okay. That's fine. It, Yeah, it's okay. Like, do you? Some people are just like that and that does not necessarily mean something is wrong or I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah, let's just keep going. Also, if you have any video ideas or any vlog ideas you'd like to see me do or upload on this channel, feel free to let me know and I'll, you know, 
have him come through. Also, I'm still taking questions for the nursing school or nursing student Q&A, and I look forward to answering as many questions as I can. So please send in your question, and I will address them accordingly. So here is me. I'm just going to go back to finish working on my um, activity for this week. So I have to do a weekly progress report for clinical and a field work activity log. Yeah. So we have to see what we did, feedback we received, our hours spent doing any kind of task in clinical in our leadership experience. So that's what I was just finishing up and I'm just going to hand it in as soon as possible because I didn't start this today. So I like to do my work like days in advance. So I'm not um, struggling or like rushing or, you know, stressing because the deadline is coming forth. And then I'm just like worrying about, oh, I haven't done this. I haven't done that. Yeah, so yeah, I just now go back to my e-class because on my research course, we have um, an online discussion. So I also go back to check to see if there's any announcement or any contributions to be made to the discussion. So here I'm done writing my whole weekly report. I've gone through it and I've gone through my fieldwork activity log and I'm going to submit on a class so I can be done with this and move on to my research course and write a paper in nursing school oh no there's so many papers to be written like you have to write so many papers in nursing school especially this term I don't know if they were waiting for us or something but they came for us full time this term because all my courses yeah I have papers to write in all the courses like not like and they are what huge percentage of my marks so yeah I feel like they were ready for us this semester so here I'm just reading an article that was shared to us by our prof and this article so basically we engage in online discussions in my research course and I, I asked a question about something that can like what can make a journal to be retracted and when a journal is retracted how do we control lapses such as funding that went towards the um, article and stuff like that so she threw more light on that by sharing two journals that sorry two articles that were published and because um, they were not dependable over time it had to be retracted so basically like this journal I'm reading here sorry this article I'm reading here the person that did this that conducted this study um, it was the study was unethical in terms of like how they got their research participants and I think there were kids involved in this study and the thing about studies is that if it's not dependable over time then we need then something is wrong because dependability is usually like important in study and that's because we just need to make sure that when we go through a study it's good and it's valid and it's something that can be trusted by the public so the person that conducted this um, research or wrote this article said something about the link between autism and MMR vaccine and that's not totally true. So studies, multiple studies over time and recently in this 21st century or in this decade too has multiple studies have conducted this same research and found out that there's really no link. Like, so they are not able to prove, there's no like proven evidence between MMR vaccine and autism. And I feel like that's another reason why some people or rather some anti-vaxxers are scared or blame, um, you know, disease on vaccines and why they refuse to vaccinate their children. But it was very interesting to read what this article was talking about and why it was retracted at the end of the day. And yeah, it's, it's just quite interesting. Like the world of research is... It can be really fascinating when you really open your eyes. But anyways, yeah, that's what I'm reading. So here yeah, I was also going through a journal of... Um, International Journal of Nursing Student Scholarship. 
So this is a journal where students work uh, is really published. So nursing students um, who are probably in an honors program or doing something like a research or a study or they have something that they want to publish. So this is a professional and a reputable journal that you can publish your article as a student. And this is where um, my partner and I are looking to publish our article. So yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead to look at my calendar for the day because it's almost noon and I need to ensure that I've accomplished what I need to do before going to another place. So I've ch I'm checking my calendar right now and I can see that I have achieved quite a lot. So I set daily goals on my calendar. So this is the date, September 28th. I set daily goals and I've achieved most of them. And the only thing I'm going to do now is to start working on my paper. So I've already started working on this paper that's due October 23rd. And I don't like making, I don't like starting things close to the deadline. I like checking weeks in advance, if possible months in advance and always coming back to look at it. So I already have my references. I've, I'm still going to, I'm still selecting more literatures I'm going to use for this particular paper. And that's what I'm really wrapping up here. I achieved a lot today and I'm very excited about that, that I can go home and be like, oh yeah, I achieved today. So yeah, that brings me to the end of this vlog and I will see you all in another one. Just let me know what you want to see and I'll be sure to have that by now.